Hey guys, Hammer back with another video. Today we have HamiltonBook.com, a HamiltonBook.com order. Um, until we get to the very end of these, I have not seen any of these. So, in order to not sound redundant and say it over and over again throughout this video, I really do love hearing from you guys. So, if you see any of these, let me know what you thought. I love hearing that. Anyway, let's jump in. First is the Jurassic Dead. The only thing worse than a zombie is a zombiesaurus. Evil always finds a way. Finds a way instead of nature, evil. Anyway, it's about a mad scientist creates a living dead dinosaur, and when it bites people, they become zombies. Sounds insane, but I'm kind of eager to check this out. $1.95. Uh, these do go in order, getting more expensive. Uh, I'll try to tell you. I may not be exactly sure of which place they start and stop, but they go from $1.95 up to $5.95. Bounty Hunters with WWE's Trish Stratus. Um, that's really why I pick this one up uh, just interested to see what she does as an actress um, Trish leaps into a whole new stratosphere Dave Hillhouse from Slam Sports uh, it has a commentary with Trish Stratus as well so I don't know I think this could be interesting let me know The Atoning for some reason this really reminds me of Jane Levy um, I don't know. It's kind of like an indie horror film, it sounds like. Uh, looks like it played at a lot of festivals. Um, it definitely sounds like there's a supernatural encounter after... Um, a family moves into a new house. And I was thinking there's something a little different than that, but... I don't know. Talks about personal demons and stuff. Could be interesting. Uh, I believe this is where we get to the 295 titles. All superheroes must die. Four Mask Avengers find themselves stripped of their powers by a cruel arch nemesis they defeated years earlier. Da, da, da. James Remar. Sounds pretty interesting to me. Um, I kind of like movies where it's superheroes that you know aren't your traditional superheroes um it's an interesting take um i saw a movie called boy wonder that i actually liked quite a bit um i don't know if that's even on blu-ray but anyway sounds interesting let me know i'm still saying let me know aren't i Rio picked it up for the kids. They probably won't watch it unless I make them though, so I don't know why. But anyway, Rio 295 rated G. That's pretty rare anymore, seems like. This is Dark Summer. Uh, this sounds like kind of like suburbia. Um, a boy's under house arrest, and he cyber stalk. He's been cyber for cyber stalking a classmate, but then someone starts stalking him. Sounds kind of interesting. I haven't seen it. Um, also stars Peter Stormare though. I just watched him. Well, I watched him in some of the Coen Brothers films last month because I watched all of their catalog in March. Um. But I also just watched him in Boot Camp with Mila Kunis. That's an okay film. Uh, I thought it was horror. Don't know if it's really horror. It's more just how these camps, boot camps can, well, I should clarify. In this, the boot camp is like a, um, is like a reform camp for troubled children, I guess, troubled teens. Um, and kind of how they're not 
uh, regulated properly or well enough and how things can get out of control and deaths and stuff. More drama, I guess, than a horror film, but there's certainly horrific things going on. Uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there because we're talking about Dark Summer. Sounds interesting. Decent cast. This one, Kicks. This is about a kid who gets the freshest, newest set of sneakers and then they're stolen. And I think they try to go after and, you know, get those shoes back. I think it sounds kind of cool. Um, I'm personally into this because the people who picked on me in school, one of them who actually treated me better than the others usually, asked me if he could borrow my shoes for a basketball tournament. And I was like... Well, that could maybe, maybe, maybe that could get me in with them and I get quit getting picked on, right? So I give him the shoes. I know you're thinking, what a dummy. I know, I know. Uh, never got my shoes back. And it was kind of weird because the guy who picked on me the worst told me after I lent them to the other guy, hey man, you're not getting them shoes back. So kids are weird. Weird that everybody can't just be nice to each other and get along, but anyhow, pick this up because I also lost my new sneakers, which were like the Iverson 3s, I think, or uh, not the original question or answer, what, what, question, right? The question was the original, anyway, it doesn't matter. It was like the blue, the all blue Iverson with the I3 logo on it, I think. Anyway, kicks. Um, still, no. I think we're on 395 movies now. The Assassin. This is a masterpiece. Nick Shager of the Daily Beast. And Michael Phillips of the Chicago Tribune. I actually like him quite a bit. I listened to him on... Um, I think he goes on film spotting podcast occasionally. Um, the most rapturous martial arts film ever made. Uh, sounds interesting. I definitely want to check that out. One and two. And three and four. No, sorry. One and two. Kieran Shipka uh, from Sabrina, Black Coat's daughter. Um... And Timothy Chalamet, really like him in uh, Little Women and uh, Call Me By Your Name. Excited to check this out. Uh, official South by Southwest Film Festival 2015 movie. Uh, uh, they had two kids with supernatural powers with a giant wall around. Um, and I guess the crux of the film is whether it's keeping them in or keeping others out. Never heard of it. If you've seen this one, I really do. I want to hear what you think of this one because I don't hear much about it. And, I don't know, inter it interests me greatly. Um, another 395... Or maybe we're up to 4. We might be up to 495, might be 395, not positive. Uh, Mickey Keating, Carnage Park. Uh, it's 1978 and a bank robbery gone wrong forces two criminals to take a hostage. The young but resilient Vivian, Ashley Bell, as they go on the run. But things go from bad to off the rails berserk when Vivian and her captors wind up in the crosshairs of a deranged ex-military sniper. Uh, who ensnares them in this deadly game of cat and mouse. Rising horror auteur Mickey Keating from Pod and Darling directs this gritty, grisly homage to the glory days of Grindhouse Cinema. I don't know. Sounds interesting. I'm pretty sure we're up to 495 now. Digging up the marrow. This is like a faux documentary with Adam Green directing. Um stars Ray Wise and 
he plays a man who tells Adam Green, hey, look, monsters are real. They're humanoid creatures living underground. I'll show you. And this is the documentary about it. I think that sounds super cool. I have not seen it. I'm excited to check this out. This next one. Um, I did say my kids will not watch cartoons, but this would be an exception for my daughter. Hotel Transylvania, Hotel Transylvania 2. Uh, there's actually a local theater that's kind of like an old theater, you know, it's still, uh, st still has this classic look, right? And uh, they show movies just a couple times a weekend or whatever. Uh, free shows on Thursday. Really cool stuff. You can rent it out for like 200 and some dollars for a couple hours. Hey, kids' birthdays parties gets, get expensive if you go to like, I don't know, any place really. Like you throw a big party at a place, they get expensive. So I said, hey, let's rent out a theater and you can invite all your friends and not have to worry about the money. We rent out a theater and showed a Hotel Transylvania. Um, I think it was a good time. I don't know. We haven't done it since, so it must not have went over that well. She'd probably rather play. I don't blame her. I mean, a little bit of a big ask, asking kids to appreciate the cinema, I suppose. <laughs> but anyway, she is a fan of Hotel Transylvania, Hotel Transylvania 2. They also do have Hotel Transylvania 3. Um, I'm just not a big fan of the cruise ship stuff, so I didn't pick it up for 5 bucks. I figure maybe I can find a single disc on that for cheaper at some point. Um, but for both the first two films for five bucks, I was in on that. Might put this up for a birthday. All right, last but certainly not least, and I opened this up already, um, is a steelbook for six bucks. Got the minimalist poster, the, the Bates Motel, or not, not the Bates Motel, the Bates family home and you got the drain with the blood very cool psycho on the spine really cool matte finish here too by the way we all go a little mad sometimes no artwork behind the disc but pretty cool artwork on the disc this is kind of this is kind of the, um, you know, the back comes when it's sealed with the, where you can read about it. I decided to keep that and just kind of snip it off where it would fit in there. Put that in there. Gonna look. Lots of special features. Um, making of Psycho, Psycho Sound, Psycho Sound, uh, and The Master's Shadow, Hitchcock's Legacy, Hitchcock Truffaut interview excerpts newsreel footage shower scene with and without music shower scene storyboards feature commentary with Stephen Rebello author of Alfred Hitchcock and the making of Psycho and more so lots of special features really great packaging super glad to have this um, I've definitely seen this I'd seen Hotel Transylvania Hotel Transylvania 2 uh, you probably got that but <laughs> Um, no, nah, I didn't even notice this. It's got the knife and the O. That's pretty cool. Um, anyway, dig this. Did not have this in my collection, so excited for that. Anyway, HamiltonBook.com. Definitely worth checking out. As you can see, all that stuff was under six bucks a piece. Um, the non-steel book was under five bucks a piece. And definitely some interesting stuff. So, uh, you know, worth a, worth a look for sure. Um, anyway, hope you like this video. I appreciate you watching so much. Really like hearing from you guys in the comments. Really would appreciate subscribing. If you subscribe, I'm sorry. Um, and the likes help a lot too. I'll catch you next time, guys. Really appreciate it.